Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to start animating this scene. Uh, in the last video, we rigged the characters, we parented everything uh, with the characters. And so if I select the torso of each of the characters, you can see that everything moves because everything has been parented to the torso. The torso is the center of gravity, so uh, everything has been parented to the torso. Let's go ahead and start animating this guy. I'm going to zoom in here and let's go ahead and start animating the arm. First off, I'd like to get the timeline instead of the dope sheet. I'm going to close this up and then that way we can create the keyframes. And I've also have auto key turned on so that anytime that I move something, it'll automatically create a keyframe. Okay, let's, so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to select the arm and there's already a keyframe on frame one. I'd like to go ahead and do about, let's say five, every five frames. I'm going to go ahead and get the rotate tool and then I'm going to rotate it all the way down to about here. <clears throat> and I'm going to move five to 10 and then I'm going to rotate it all the way up to here. And then it's just a matter of grabbing all of these keyframes. In fact, if, if this bothers you, we don't have to do all of this stuff, guys. Uh, let me close this down. I'm just going to grab these two, copy them, go to frame 15, and then paste them. Go to frame 25, and then, oops, I hit the space bar. And then paste them again. Go to 35, and then paste them again. We'll see what that does. I'm going to hit uh, play. So that's a little fast. That's a little too fast. I'm going to grab all of these and then hit the scale S and then I'm going to push them to 60. Still a little fast. I'm going to grab all of them again, hit S to scale and I'm going to push them to about 80. I like that. I like that a lot better. So it, it is going to be every 10 frames. He's happy making that snow angel. And we can go on as long as the animation. And so let's go ahead and animate the hand now. The hand, here's what I'm going to do. At about halfway right there, I want it to be fully in this position, like going towards... Uh, it's falling behind. It's called drag. So it's going to be dragging behind the arm. And that 10, it's going to be, it's going to catch up. So at 15, it's going to be at full um, drag. And then at 20, it's going to catch up. And so I can just repeat these. Copy, paste, and then paste. Play. There we go. We might even have to slow it down a bit. We'll see. And then it's just the same thing for the other arm. Let's go ahead and do every 10. So 10 frames. We're going to push it down 10 frames. We're going to push it up to about right there. 10 frames down. I'm going to copy these paste, paste, paste. And so we should have both arms right there there we go and then and then the hand let's do the same thing with the hand the hand right about halfway uh, it's going to be fully in the uh, in this position it, dragging behind and then right at uh, 10 we're gonna keep it straight and at 15 
it's going to be fully in this position, dragging behind, and that 20 back to normal. Let me go ahead and move this over. And then so I'm going to grab all of these, copy, at 25, paste them, at 45, paste them, 65, paste them. And so let's see what this looks like. Here we go. You can already tell he's having fun. The head is going to be moving slightly. I'm going to grab the head and as his hands are going down, I think it can move one way, just slightly. And as he's going up, maybe the other way. I'm going to just grab these, copy, and then paste them. And see what that looks like. If we don't like it, we can always... Let me adjust this slightly. Copy them. Paste. And then paste. And then we'll do one more. Paste. And so, there we go. There we go. If you notice, this arm uh, stops a little early. Let's animate it to 120. There we go. There we go. So when, let's animate this one, the scarf, when the hands are up, right at, uh, let's say frame one, but they go down at frame 10, let's just rotate it a, a little bit this way. And when the hands go up, let's rotate it a, a little bit out of the way. And so let's just copy these, copy, V, and it's just a bunch of copying and pasting keyframes. All right, cool. Likewise with this one, let's give it a little bit. When it's down, I should push it to the side. Um, so when the arms are down at frame 10, I should push it this way a little bit. When it's up, I should push it this way a little bit. So I'm going to grab these two. Paste. There. And so let's look at everything. There we go. Let's go ahead and animate the legs. And push this up. I figure, it's been a while since I've done one of these snow angels, so I figure that when the hands are down like this, uh, the legs will be close. And then maybe we could do the opposite on her. So when the arms are down, let's go ahead and move the legs in. And so I'm going to do that one there. And at 20, we'll move this one all the way out. Select them. Copy. Paste, 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 paste. And we'll do the same for the right leg. Uh, let's get the feet done. So right at about frame five, we're going to rotate this like this because it's going in and at frame 10 it will normalize there um, at frame 15 it's going to be fully this way and at frame 20 it will normalize and so we we've got one cycle go ahead and copy these go to frame 25 paste 45 paste 
65 paste, 85 paste, 105 paste. Let's do the same for the other one. At five, it'll be fully on this. At 10, it will normalize. At 15, it's going to go this way. And at 20, it'll normalize again. Let's go ahead and select all of these, copy. All right, let's look at it, guys. I'm gonna deselect it. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit and then look at it. There we go. Yeah, now he's having fun. So what I wanna do next is maybe add a little bit of motion to the torso, but just very little, um, very, very little, just, you know, just slightly. Uh, and at 40, we're gonna go back maybe to there. Let's see what that looks like. Copy, paste, and paste. Notice that I didn't go every 10. It's just very, very slightly. There we go. There we go. See? It gives him a little motion, and he's moving around in the dirt. And so we've got one of the characters animated, guys. Hey, I'm going to do the same to this character. I'm going to speed up the video because it's going to be the same um, technique of just moving the arm every 10 frames, the hand, the legs, the feet, the head, and maybe the torso just a little bit. And I'm going to speed up the video and I'll see you on the other side. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and, and start copying those keyframes. Let's go to this foot, select copy, and then paste. Go to this foot, copy, paste. Let's go to this leg, well, let's do the arm, the hands first. Copy, paste. Let's go to this hand, copy, paste. Let's go to the legs. The legs I have to move to frame 130 since they're in tens. Copy paste copy paste all I'm doing is copying and pasting and then finally these copy and 
And so we've got our all our keys for our character. Let's go ahead and select all the items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We've got all our items. Let's go ahead and uh, increase this to about 300. So we can see everything. And let's slow them down just a little bit. I'm going to grab all of the keyframes for all of the, uh, um, all of the body parts. And then I'm just going to scale it. Scale them all the way to maybe 300 right there. And so he should go a little slower. There we go. All right, and we'll do the same for the girl. I'm gonna speed up the video for a, a minute and then we'll, I'll meet you on the other side. Alright guys, so I think the girl was a little bit easier because she didn't have the uh, the scarf. So let's select all of the body parts. And I'm going to select all of the keyframes and slow them down. I think just a little bit more than 300. I'm going to go to 350 and say, I'm gonna zoom in on this, and say scale, and I'm just gonna push this to 350 right there. So she's going to go a tiny bit slower than the guy. Let's go ahead and uh, hit it, and then, oh, that's perfect, but I'm noticing this hand is going a little crazy. Let's uh, fix that. Let's see what happened to this hand. Um, I think we forgot to scale it to 300. Uh, if we go to this hand, we notice that it's at 300. So we might have not selected it. So I'm going to select all of it. And then scale S to 300. Right there. There we go. Hey guys, so the characters have been animated. In the next video... I think what I'm going to do is make it snow and then animate the camera. And so guys, if you haven't had a chance to go visit my website, uh, learn to animate.com. If you want to support the channel, go visit my Patreon, patreon.com. And then um, on the website also register for the uh, email newsletter so that we can stay in touch. Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching and, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you guys.